Hi guys, welcome to my snack box or welcome back to my snack box. Today I am forcing my boyfriend to be in another video. We're gonna be I opening. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a Universal Yums box from the Ukraine today. Super excited, by the way, I straightened my hair. Okay. These are weird. <laughs> okay, where's the book? Hand me the book so we can look at it. <clears throat> so these Beef stew. are the first one. These yes. are corn sticks with potato veal. Veal is sad baby cow meat. If you guys didn't know that, veal is sad baby cow. Um, and I don't know how to pronounce that word right here. So, I'm going to try it. I didn't like that. Did you like that one? I didn't mind it. Using this first. Spit cups. Not really a fan. I don't think. Okay. Smell. Ham and mustard flavored corn puffs. <laughs> they don't taste as bad as they smell. Yeah, they're not bad. I'd rather have the other things. The other things are gross. Onion flavored corn sticks. And this is what these look like. Hold on. They almost taste cheesy. Cheesy and oniony. They're good. They're not bad. Cheese curd and chocolate flavored wafers. Yeah. Mm. Curd waffles. Now, my family is Ukrainian and we eat a lot of cheese curds and other weird shit, but. I've never thought of cheese curds and chocolate, so what do you Not think? Bad. I'll eat it. It's not the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> you still eating it? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Hang on. Let's do this one actually. Okay. Or no, do that one. All right. These are golden chips, meat, jelly, and horseradish flavored potato chips. Meat jelly shouldn't even be a thing. Yuck. Sounds gross. It sounds really gross. Really gross. Really gross. I like horseradish though, but. Oh, these are weird. It's like long pieces like this. See that? Hmm. Um, this isn't how potato chips are done in America, but whatever. Get that big of a piece for yourself? <laughs> yes, I'll get it that big of a piece for myself. You know? Not bad. I have to taste it on my side. Oh, yeah, you're right. Caramel cinnamon dark chocolate. That looks beautiful. Oh, that's not the one that looks beautiful, but. You guys see my little flappy? <laughs> Thank you. Here, wash on the package. Alrighty, this is the package Caramel cinnamon dark chocolate. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate anyway, but whatever. Here. I didn't like it. Mm. It's not bad, but it's too much. It's like way too rich. And when you get these boxes, you get a little book that shows you everything in them. They these... are good. They're the best. <laughs> these are Roshan Ladybird assorted fruit gummies with juice fillings. And then they look like this. They look like little ladybugs. Really, really good. Mm. So good. So good. Here's his orange on the wrapper's head. Oh. Oh, these are the wrong ones. Okay, these are Minky Binkies. Assorted a fruit caramels. Inside the caramel. Yeah. Assorted fruit caramels with um fruit caramel. You got shit inside? 
And they're really good. You wouldn't think caramel would be good with fruit. Well, actually, caramel is usually really good with fruit, so ignore me. Slice the peanuts with puffed rice bar. Hmm. Yeah. I don't find those in the book. Really hard. Can I show them the package? Too hard. Caramelized peanuts with puffed rice bar. It's like a weird peanut brittle. Milk chocolate caramel. These are Roshans. And they come in this. Not bad. And then these. They almost taste like, have you ever had those alcohol filled chocolates? Mm -hmm. That's what they kind of taste like. More golden chips. <laughs> these ones aren't meat jelly. Sour cream and onion. And they're the same really long, really messy pieces. Here you go, babe. Mm. Keep it in the box. This is so pretty. I want to show them the box. Mm -hmm. I could get down with these ones. Don't like that face too. This one is super cute. Dark chocolate with candied fruits. I'm not even a fan of dark chocolate, but look how gorgeous this is. Isn't this packaging stunning? I love the pink chocolate. It looks like some makeup would be in. Yeah, right? It looks like an eyeshadow palette. Hi guys, today on my channel we're going to be reviewing the dark chocolate fruit bar makeup palette. Okay, let's dive into this bitch. And then that's the last thing. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Here you go. So, fruit candy? Aren't these cute? They're candied, candied fruits on dark chocolate. Yep. Really? Is it milk chocolate? Mm. I'm not really dark chocolate, but yeah. I'm not spitting it because it's gross. It's just too much. And then these are the barberry candies. God, I don't like dark chocolate. I don't either. And this is what these look like. Are you done? Mm-hmm. Okay. How it tastes. I actually like it a lot. It's cr crazy. They put a lot of chocolate in these boxes. Mm -hmm. So if you're a chocolate fan. Here's my spit cup. Yum. <laughs> and I'll tell you some fun facts. And these are really cool because you learn a little bit about the country. Love you, baby. I love you. <laughs> He's done. Say bye. See you later, guys. He said see you later, guys. You guys can't hear that. Um, but you learn a little bit about the country by eating. And then they give you some information. And I love to eat. So it works really well. And they also give you a recipe. This is crazy. Galushki. We make something exactly like this almost in my family. Um, but it's called kista. And that's Ukrainian. And what it is is it's um, fried bread, dumplings, and sauerkraut. And usually we'll put sausage in it. And this one is basically dumplings, mushrooms, and onions, which we put onions in kista. And literally all the other ingredients are the same. Except they do mushrooms, which I don't know if I already said that they do mushrooms in this or not. But I love mushrooms. <laughs> my family doesn't do mushrooms because I'm the only one in my family pretty much that likes mushrooms. So that's great. So here's some interesting stuff. Strange soup <laughs> superstitions. Let a cat in. It's believed that every Ukrainian home has a very protective and very temperamental house spirit called a domovoy. Before entering a new house, it's tradition to send a cat in to greet the spirit as they're the only beings that can communicate with domovoy. Or I don't know how to say that. Sit down. Before long trips, family members sit together in perfect silence for several minutes. 
Locals believe doing so tricks evil spirits into thinking nothing important is happening, so they get bored and leave, ensuring the trip is safe and successful. That's one I could get down with, for sure. Oh, Rodney's got Bruno. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. Hey. So what is this? <laughs> Be careful though, because I was showing my mom a picture of a bearded dragon in a costume and he literally attacked my phone like he jumped off my mom onto my phone and tried licking and attacking it <laughs> badass. he is badass get out the trash there's no place for the forgetful in the ukraine if you don't throw away your garbage before the sun set evil spirits will enter your home and linger at night are you getting loud because you're sleeping <laughs> why not take it out why not take it out in the dark Superstition says if you do, you'll be surrounded by rumors. So maybe you should take the trash out more. I do. You have little trash bags. Okay? That was the main problem. Break dishes. Oh no, you're invited to a dinner party and accidentally drop a porcelain plate on the floor. You break them on purpose so you don't have to wash them. That's false. I've broken like three dishes since we've lived here and we've lived here for like a year and a half. But okay. Oh no, <laughs> I love you. In Ukraine, there'd be no need for an apology. Broken dishes are thought to have accumulated more bad energy than they could bear and thus considered good luck. So the dishes had bad spirits, babe. That's why they broke. Hmm. Your bad spirits into the I'm <laughs> choke you out. Don't whistle indoors. Locals are super serious about this one. Hummer, sing all you want, but whistling indoors is strongly believed to bring financial problems to all members of the household. Best to avoid it at all costs. Carry an empty container. Sorry. Carry an empty container. Buckets, boxes, bags, if they're empty, leave them at home. Seeing someone with an empty container in Ukraine is said to cause bad luck throughout the day, so toting one around risks doing that to others. Then I probably shouldn't bring my wallet to the Ukraine, right? But, um, <laughs> um, you don't bring your wallet anywhere. <laughs> You're just like a critic over I there. I love you too. <laughs> Sit at the corner of a table, hoping to find love this year. Steer clear of those pesky table corners in Ukraine. Sitting at the corner of a table means you'll be single for a very long time, specific specifically seven years, according to locals. Maybe I should have sat at the corner of a table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Put your clothes on inside out. Ukrainian, or don't. These are all the don'ts, by the way. Ukrainians have to be extra careful getting dressed in the morning. Why? If you believe the superstition, wearing your clothes inside out means you're going to be beaten up. Word. Here's all the snacks. Nice bird. Knee. In Ukrainian means no in English. Mm -hmm. Knee. Sleep is sun. Vacuum cleaner is pillow sauce. I love that. That is about it for um, the tasting video. And I'll show you guys. <laughs> Bruners. Ouch. <laughs> Crazy man on the loose. I wish I would have gotten that on video. <laughs> He's fast when he wants to be. Where do you think you're going? I'm really curious to where you'll go next. Where are you going? Huh? Yeah. I would laugh if he just ran up your sleeve. All right, guys. <laughs> Where's Bruno? Thank you guys for watching my Ukraine Yum Box unboxing video and watching us eat snacks. Make sure to like this video, comment on this video if you want to, um, and subscribe if you want to, to see me and my boyfriend and Bruno. He just tongue punched me. <laughs> Oh, look. 
Oh, we get up there. Ah, stop. He's poking me. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> You're not. Will you keep your eye away from his tail, please? <laughs>